Americans <laughs> and by uh, the way that it's actually delivered. Uh, some year before did ask me, uh, as we all know about the serious uh, uh, Samir did ask me to stress the grave importance and the seriousness of this topic he's going to talk about. So he does want to take you very, to take him very seriously. <laughs> Please, no much laughter. This is and this is so Samir Gupa and the first date for dummies. Please. Fellow Toastmasters. Those of you who have experienced the high-stakes world of dating know exactly how important the first date of a relationship actually is. Now, I personally have gone on many first dates, and although none of them have actually worked out for me, <laughs> I have gained a fair bit of experience on how to screw them up. <laughs> so that's what I'd like to share with you guys today, uh, my experiences, and also give you guys a step-by-step -step guide to the perfect first date. So let's start at the beginning. Let's say you like a girl, or a guy, no. <laughs> and uh, let's say you finally muster up the courage to ask her out. And now what, right? The first thing you need to do is be prepared for your date. So typically, my rule of thumb is be prepared um, four to five hours before your date, uh, and really just to make sure that nothing goes wrong. So make sure your clothes are ironed, your shoes are polished, uh, your teeth are uh, lost and and most importantly and I can't stress this enough make sure your fly is zipped up because <laughs> it's happened to me so many times before you show up at your date's house you ring the doorbell you take one last good look at yourself everything looks fine except you notice your fly is unzipped so you frantically try to zip it up but it gets stuck <laughs> and the last thing you want is for her to open the door and to see you with a creepy expression on your face <laughs> and your hands down your pants. <laughs> Not the best way to start off your date. Yeah. Once you've picked her up and you remember to, to zip up your fly, you're going to want to drive her to some fancy restaurant, okay? Uh, and, and typically when you're driving her, you want to uh, compliment her on, on how she looks. For example, uh, here's some examples of some good compliments. You look radiant today. You smell wonderful and that shirt looks really nice on you. Here's some examples of things that you don't want to say right off the bat. Um, you're hot. <laughs> Even though it's a synonym for the word beautiful, girls don't like to be called hot. Also, my mom would love you. Don't say that. Don't scare them off. And finally, uh, will you marry me? <laughs> don't, don't say that on the first day. Leave that to second or third day. Once you're seated at the restaurant, though, you want to show your date that you're a gentleman. And, and you can behave yourself in public. So order some wine to show how um, sophisticated you are. And when it comes, make sure you smell it and uh, listen to it sloshing it around. That's what wine uh, connoisseurs do. And if you're a lightweight drinker like myself, and where you typically get tipsy after half a glass of wine, feel free to go to your waiter afterwards and change your order to grape juice. Grape juice in a wine glass. That's, uh, that's the trick. She'll never know that it's not wine. <laughs> After you've ordered your food, you typically want to start some kind of conversation with your date. Um, and you have to be careful about what you talk about. For example, here's some things you can talk about. You can talk about your work, or your childhood, or your, um, your, your interests and your hobbies. Something you, some stuff that has not worked for me. Uh, your ear infection. <laughs> uh, especially not over dinner. Your video game collection. Girls don't like video games. Um, and your mom. Don't talk about your mom. <laughs> so depending on how dinner goes, um, you can do a few different things after dinner. Okay. Um, if you can take the romantic route and go for a walk somewhere near the water or in the city, it's very romantic thing to do. Or if you don't feel like talking to her anymore, you can take her for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a cool guy like myself, you could take her to a disco, um, a, a nightclub. <laughs> nightclub that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's so cool. That's what cool people call it. <laughs> now, when you're at the nightclub, you have to be careful because there's going to be a lot of people. The lighting, lighting is going to be very dim and it's going to be a lot of loud music, it's going to be very easy for you to lose your date. 
Uh, it's also going to be easy for her to run away. <laughs> so keep an eye on her. Uh, maybe keep her close. Maybe hold her hand so that she can't escape. <laughs> now, uh, obviously, when you're at a nightclub, eventually you're going to have to dance. Now, I consider myself a bit of an expert at dancing. Uh, and since this is a body movement speech, I'm going to give you guys a little introduction on how to dance. So, um, Tom, please, uh, please start, start my music. Typically what you want to do is you want to start swaying side to side. Okay? This is sexy, right? Start moving your arms a little bit. Okay? And you really don't want to do anything else other than every 5 to 10 seconds you want to rotate your body. Flip 45 degrees. <laughs> and then back 45 degrees. Okay? And this is, this is, this is all you want to do. Don't, don't do anything crazy. I mean, don't do any... Okay? Don't do any of that. Just stay here. No crazy robot moves, you know? Uh, leave that for the second or third day. So I'm going to catch my breath here. <laughs> so, eventually, depending on what you do, you take her to the, disc, uh, to the nightclub <laughs> or for a walk, eventually you're going to have to take her home. Uh, now, when you do take her home, uh, depending on how nice your dance was, she might even invite you in. Um, that's never happened to me. <laughs> but if she does, uh, you can probably talk to Tom. He seems to be the expert of non-business uh, conduct guidelines. <laughs> it's just coffee, man. <laughs> is, is that, that's what he calls it, coffee. <laughs> so, but really what you want to do is you really just want to give her a peck on the cheek and uh, really get out of there before you mess anything up. <laughs> As you're driving home, give yourself a pat on the back because you just successfully completed your first date. Uh, and now, I, I hope that I've given you guys, uh, I hope that I've shown you that the first date doesn't have to be a complex issue. It can really be broken down into a simple set of steps. Um, and regardless of what I've said, I think that as a society we really um, put a lot of pressure on the first date. You know, I mean, you have, everything has to be perfect and everything. And we're really forgetting about what the first date is really all about. It's not about showing off how well you're dressed or how um, sophisticated you are. It's, the first date is really just about showing off your dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much.